what I do, but you guys can't define me, uh, define my work as a father. I'm many things, you know, I'm many things. Yeah, I'm a convicted rapist. I'm, 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 a, I'm a hell raiser. I'm a father, a loving father. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a semi-good husband, you know what I mean? What? You know what I mean? I'm just a man out here trying to enjoy my... I, I was born poor. I ain't never had nothing, man. I don't know how to act, all right? But the real thing is, I'm just, I'm just here to be me. I don't care what uh, you, you know what? I am or who, or who do anyone thinks I am um, at this stage of my life. But, um, yeah, I'm a pretty much of a tyrant titan. Yeah, that's who I am. I'm on the Zoloft thing, right? But I'm on that to keep me from killing y'all. I won't talk nice to you and talk about fornicating with you and letting you suck my d because if I was eloquent with you, you would still look at me as a scumbag. I'm a big strong nigga that knocks out people and rapes people and rips off people. Always confusion with Mike Tyson, who's standing by with Jim Gray. Jim? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Steve. Mike, was that your shortest fight ever? I bear witness there's only one God, and Muhammad blessings and peace be upon him as his prophet. I dedicate this fight to my brother, Darrell Brown, who died. I'll be there to see you. I love you with all my heart. All praise be to my children. I love you. Oh, oh God, I'm man. What? Is this your shortest fight ever? In any time, an amateur professional ever? Assalamu alaikum, Maida. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, Lennox Lewis, Lennox. I'm coming for you. Is it frustrating to train like you did and then have no, this in I, seven I or eight seconds? For this fight. I only trained probably two weeks or three weeks for this fight. I had to bury my best friend and I dedicated this fight. I wasn't going to fight. I dedicated this fight to him. I was going to rip his heart out. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynch is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their floor. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Saying now, Mike, the bike. I don't let people with me. Put your mother in the straight jacket, you punk ass white boy. Come in and tell me that if I f you in your ass, you punk white boy. You faggot. You can't touch me, you're not man enough. I eat your f a lot, you bitch. You, you hoe. Come and take my face. You ass for everybody. You got man enough for me. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white boy. Scared of the real man. Do you love me, faggot? When I go to big cities, everybody stop, you know, and it's like, wow, Mike Tyson. You're Mike Tyson, aren't you? Aren't you that young knockout kid? Aren't you, aren't you that young knockout kid? How confident am I that you can win this fight? Are you talking out of turn? No, I think we're all talking together. I normally don't do interview with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore. Unless you want to, you know. I may like fornicate more than other people. It's just... Who I am. I sacrificed so much of my life. Can I at least get laid? You know what I mean? I've been robbed of most of my money. Can I at least get a blowjob? If I wish one of your guys had children so I could kick them in their fucking head or stomp on their testicles so you could feel my pain because that's the pain I have waking up every day. I hate Mike Tyson. So I don't like Mike Tyson. So I mostly wish the worst for Mike Tyson. So I don't get caught up with Mike Tyson. That's probably why I don't like my friends and my fans. I'm 36 years old, going to 36. I never dreamed of living this long. I never dreamed of fornicating with as many beautiful women as I did. Uh, listen, um, I broke my back. I broke my back. And I don't even know how I'm standing. Um, it's a miracle, but the doctor had um, did something. To and I wasn't supposed to. And I couldn't box. Every time I box. And something happened. I don't know if a guy hit me. Or they say he didn't hit me, but I don't know. Sometime in the gym, you know, I don't know. I, I trust my, they're new trainers. I trust them, but I, I was boxing with a, this African guy Friday. What's Friday's full name? Anybody know Friday's full name? Hey, what's Friday's full name? Anybody know Friday's full name? Too? And a doctor told me probably um, I'm from the nerves in my spine, and I, it just exasperated me. And I, I was just a little frightened about that. But, you know, I mean, look at me, what I'm going to do? I'm not going to go and become a rocket scientist over, all of a sudden. And I said, come on, let's bring it on. On, on, on. Up and up, just let's bring it on. I'm not um, eloquent or distinguished. You won't allow me to ever be that. But um, let's bring it on. Mike, uh, Francois, both a 6-1 to one underdog. Are there any concerns on your part? 
I don't know anything about that. I don't know nothing about numbers. I just know what I can do. How about kill this mother? Okay. How about the 19 months off? Does, what does about that, it? Does what it about it? Does it pose any problem to you? We'll see. I doubt it seriously. You take into the ring a lot of rage. Does that work for you or does it work against you at times? You know, who cares? We're in a fight anyway. What what the, what, what does it matter? Well, for example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Man, listen, right? I don't know nothing about being a heavyweight champ. Only I know I know how to fight, right? I'm a nigga, right? Shit, you no, know, really, 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 really. I'm not saying like I'm a black person, you know, but I'm, a, I'm a street person. I'm so I don't even want to be a street person. I don't even like I don't even like typical street people. Th th but that's just who I became and what happened in my life and the tragedies in life that made me that way. But you know, I'm Mike. You know, I'm not malevolent or anything. I just am, and I just wanna just. Just live my life, and uh, I know your guys talk bad about me. And your guy a really bad snig out there about me, but you gonna I'm gonna make sure you talk about me. <clears throat> your grandkids and kids after that are gonna know about me. Right. I'm gonna make sure of that they're never gonna forget about me. Your great grandkids are gonna say, "Wow, wasn't that a bizarre individual?"